Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at the transfers that we've done in January and we're also going to play a match. Um, as far as transfers, nothing much has happened. We have two new players, we have a new midfielder, attacking midfielder, sorry, um, central midfielder and one new attacking left wing. Um, Mark Doyle is actually not new. He's back again. He was with us a couple of seasons back on loan, and and now we've been, um, been able to purchase him. So let's have a look at them too. Uh, and also, just to say that obviously Mark Doyle um, is coming in to replace Jack Nolan, who was with us only a few months. He's still with us. We haven't managed to sell him because he was injured. But yeah, so here's Mark Doyle. He was with us before, uh, Irish player, always playing in Ireland, except when he played for us. Um, he's pretty good considering his age, still got his physicals at a decent level. So hopefully he'll be useful. And then the centre midfielder, Martin Iv Ivkic, uh, young player, 23 years old. We managed to buy him, he's got excellent first touch and flair, so... Uh, quite exciting things coming from him. So far, four matches from him with one goal, one assist, and an average rating of 7.18, which is pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Uh, and that meant that we uh, moved Jack Waterston to the under-18, so sorry, to the under-23s. Um, there is one player I might bring up next season from, from the under-23s. He's ready to be faced 24 now. So... I don't know, he's, he's not as good as the players we have now, but I think if we give him some playing time, he'll he'll get better, maybe. He's 24 though already, but I was tempted. I was tempted to actually uh, send Ju Juho back, but Juho's are really good. He's only 19, and we're not paying that much for him per week, so I decided to keep Juho and, and, and not bring in um, Neil Priest yet. That's it. We've had no takeover. Uh, the board keeps declining any takeovers. They keep reinvesting some money, but we're spending money like crazy, though. Um, so we're just going to hop into a match and look for some... Um, look for some changes, maybe, that we can do tactically. This is the moment we're doing okay, but uh, I, we're not quite at the place where we'd like us to be. I'd like us to be here... We're nine points away from that, so quite far away. So let's make it full screen. So we're one nil down already, 10 minutes into the match. Managed to draw. Nice goal there from Stephen. So, almost like a corner. Okay, that's nice. Okay, we got a proper corner. And Davis managed to head it in. That was a complete stuff up from the um, from the goalkeeper there. Kind of just overcommitted too soon. Okay, so that result leaves us five points. Uh, sorry, no, seven points away, which isn't quite so bad. But as long as we can maintain the win, that is. We haven't had any um, players that stood out as far as goal making yet. Um, 
our, our attack as a whole, our strike is mainly, but our, our attack as a whole is not, isn't the strongest, um, I don't need to do that, do I? No, let's not do subs now. Uh, isn't the strongest of our team. Our team is better, our defensive players are better than our attacking players by a mile. But, um, yeah, so that's kind of why we're putting ourselves in these positions, I think. Goalkeepers aren't great, so that's the one area that I'm not completely happy about, is the goalkeeper options that we have. Here we go. <laughs> Another mess up, by our, this time by our goalkeeper. Kind of just left... Yeah, that that was all of defense being a little bit weird, to be fair. Let's take McFride out and put Giscom. And we're going to do our final subs very soon. Here we go. So we're going to put Brown in. Brown, who wants to leave, actually? He's not a, a happy bunny right now. And we're going to put Anderson in as well. To be fair, I'd be happy with a draw if it ends like a draw. It's at least a point. And um, we want all as many as we can this season. That's offside, yeah. Definitely offside that one. Okay, so 10 points away, not great, not great, but I think we can turn it around. We, we came very close last season, uh, we came 8th, 4 points away, so we're in a better position this season, we're further up the table than we were this time last season, so that's going to mean something, hopefully. Uh, I think last season we were further down here, like 18th or something. 10 points away, not too bad. I'm going to crack on and see where we land um, at the kind of the later stages of, this, of the league. We, we're not in any other competitions. We've been knocked out of every single one of them, as far as I'm aware. Uh, oh, hello. So more players want to leave. Okay, what's happened? I obviously uh, failed to, oh, failed to sell him and failed to strengthen goalkeeping. I thought I pleased him with that. Um, actually, yeah, probably not. Okay, so we've got some unhappy players. Um, but yeah, I'll be fine. Uh, yeah, so let's just take a look at the competitions again. So, knocked out early on in all the competitions this year, so not great for that. Uh, as far as the league's been a bit hit and miss with the results, so hopefully we can do better in this later half of the season. And I'll come back for the last couple of matches. Well, it really depends where we are. Um, if it looks like we're going to be in the playoffs, I might just come back for the playoffs. If it looks like um, we're not going to be able to make the playoffs, then I'll come back for the last couple of matches just to see where we land in the final position. 
Um, thanks so much for watching and thanks for sticking around to the end as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe and you can also check out the Patreon. I'm currently now without Patreon, which is very sad. So if you want to support the channel, head over there and there are a few options there for you if you want to support. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.